Okay, so I'm here in Beijing. I'm at the Ancient Observatory. So here you can see this is the um, celestial globe, and it was made for the purpose of like determining the rising and setting time of like all these celestial bodies in the sky. So um, astronomy is really interesting. Um, I first like well when I was a kid, I, like had books about astronomy, but I didn't like get super into it, but. Um, freshman year at Berkeley, which was last year, I took Alex Filipenko's class in astronomy. It's a really famous class. It's like recommended for a lot of like Berkeley students to take if they like are interested in like learning more about astronomy. And he's on like he's on TV sometimes, like on the Science and Discovery Channel. I actually, I actually saw him on TV like before I even got accepted or like even applied to Berkeley. And then he was my professor eventually, so that was cool. But what's interesting about astronomy is that it's it's universal. So, people in the East and the West, both like throughout history, have independently developed all these astro like astronomy techniques and like equations and stuff. So, um, when like missionaries, like Jesuit missionaries from Europe, they would go to China, and then they would like exchange like knowledge of astronomy and like culture, and they would in turn like bring Eastern knowledge of astronomy and like culture back to Europe. So, um, astronomy is like one of the things that um, like connects people throughout history and like, it's really important because like cultures like China that like keep continuous like records of astronomy and like the heavens and stuff um, it's really important like determining like things like demographics and like reasons for things throughout history so um, like for example there's like wars in certain years and like they don't know why I might be wrong about this but they don't know why it's caused like if they look at the records of like astronomy and stuff or like the weather um they'll see that like oh there might have been like a cooling period between these years and there could have been shortages of crops so it could lead to like war or like this and this might have caused this or like there's a supernova in the sky that caused these people to get inspired and stuff so um lots of things in history are connected through astronomy and like keeping records of it has been very important i believe to historians but i could be wrong but it's just my own armchair video analysis, so um, pretty cool place to get all these different like tools that were used. Um, when European powers actually invaded Beijing in 1900, a lot of these things actually got stolen, but they were eventually returned after like 20 or so years. So now they're here in Beijing. Um, it's an interesting place, the Beijing Ancient Observatory. Um, there's like these smaller exhibition halls like down. I'm on top of this tower right now, so. Um, there's like these smaller exhibition halls that you can like read about the sun and the moon and like Chinese techniques so like the moon is really important in like Chinese like language and like astronomy because it's like the basis of their calendar so like the word for month is actually Yue which is which means moon so that's pretty interesting so if you're ever in Beijing I recommend the ancient observatory it's really easy to get to it's just um it's near it's east of Tiananmen Square and like the Forbidden City so Check it out if you're ever here. Until the next video.